And this Veterans Day, for the third year in a row, Napa Auto Parts has teamed up with the Wounded Warrior Project, and it's to help support the families of those who have been injured or killed in combat. Daniel Perry has overcome the unimaginable. While serving overseas, he not only fought for our country, but he fought for his life. I was wounded in Iraq in 2006. A uh, major traumatic brain injury. I was sent to Walter Reed, and the Wounded Warrior Project actually came into my room and talked to me about Wounded Warrior Project. The Wounded Warrior Project has helped Daniel and countless soldiers transition on their long road to recovery. He came to our room and in an hour and a half sat and talked with my husband and I and explained more to us than we had ever comprehended the three weeks we were there. What started as a program to provide comfort items to wounded service members has grown into a complete rehabilitative effort. Daniel's mom, Linda, has made it her mission to make the transition easier. My main job is to connect with wounded warriors and to make sure that they're getting all the benefits and the services and referrals that they need and deserve. And those services would not be possible without help from fellow Americans. As members of Hope High School's TROTC marched to the beat of the drum, representatives from Napa Auto Parts presented Daniel with a very generous donation. Daniel, on behalf of Napa Auto Parts of New England, I'd like to present you and the Wounded Warriors a check for $25,000. And thank you for your service and everything that you've done. Thank you very much. This is the third year Napa Auto Parts and their customers have raised money for the Wounded Warrior Project. The cause is near and dear to those involved with the partnership. A lot of our owners, a lot of our employees are vets themselves, so there's just not enough we can do to say thank you. The community has stepped up um, this year in, in a big way. We came up with the $25,000 this year. Keep growing every year. Daniel is thankful for the support and is glad others who are injured while in service can benefit just like he did. It really helps the caregivers focus on the individual for getting them all the service-connected disabilities that they need. And in 2007, Daniel was medically retired from the military. He then married and had two little girls, and now it's...